Chapter 37 My heart pounds as I think of this. It leaps within me. Listen carefully to the thunder of God's voice as it rolls from His mouth. It rolls across the heavens, and His lightning flashes out in every direction. Then comes the roaring of the thunder, the tremendous voice of His majesty. He does not restrain the thunder when He speaks. God's voice is glorious in the thunder. We cannot comprehend the greatness of His power. He directs the snow to fall on the earth, and tells the rain to pour down. Everyone stops working at such a time so they can recognize His power. The wild animals hide in the rocks or in their dens. The stormy wind comes from its chamber, and the driving winds bring the gold. God's breath sends the ice, freezing wide expanses of water. He loads the clouds with moisture, and they flash with His lightning. The clouds turn around and around under His direction. They do whatever He commands throughout the earth. He causes things to happen on earth, either as a punishment or as a sign of His unfailing love. Listen, Job, stop and consider the wonderful miracles of God. Do you know how God controls the storm and causes the lightning to flash forth from His clouds? Do you understand how He balances the clouds with wonderful perfection and skill? When you are sweltering in your clothes, and the south wind dies down and everything is still, he makes the skies reflect the heat like a giant mirror. Can you do that? You think you know so much, so teach the rest of us what to say to God. We are too ignorant to make our own arguments. Should God be told that I want to speak? Can we speak when we are confused? We cannot look at the sun, for it shines brightly in the sky when the wind clears away the clouds. Golden splendor comes from the mountain of God. He is clothed in dazzling splendor. We cannot imagine the power of the Almighty, yet He is so just and merciful that He does not oppress us. No wonder people everywhere fear Him. People who are truly wise show Him reverence.